نحمد و نسلی علیہ رسول الکریم اما بعد ڈی ویوز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو آور ویکلی پروگرام المار علم ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ ویل مینشن سم مور سائنس آف قیامہ ان لاسٹ پروگرام وی مینشن سم آف دا مائنر سائنس آف قیامہ اینڈ ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ ویل مینشن سم آف دا میجر سائنس آف قیامہ بفور ان شاء اللہ آئی مینشن سم آف دا حدیث اینڈ دین ان شاء اللہ شارٹلی آئی مینشن سم آف دا میجر سائنس آف قیامہ دا میجر سائنس آف ڈومس ڈے دس حدیث ہیز بی مینشن ان مسلم مشکات ان حذیفہ تبن عسعید غفاری رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ قال اطلاع النبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم علینہ و نحن نتذاکر فقال ما تذکرون قالو نذکر ساعتا قال انہا لن تقوم حتی تروها قبل حتی ترو قبلها عشر آیات الى آخر الحدیث This is very long hadith and this hadith has been, has been mentioned uh, in Muslim and Mishkat and narrated by Hadrat Huzaifah bin Usaid al-Ghafari رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ So Hadrat Huzaifah bin Usaid al-Ghafari رضی اللہ تعالیٰ reported that the Holy Prophet صلی اللہ تعالیٰ وسلم suddenly came to us whilst we were busy in a discussion Prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم asked what are you discussing about The companions رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ said we are discussing about the last hour We are discussing about the Qiyamah, the Doomsday. After hearing this, the Holy Prophet ﷺ stated, that It will not come until you see ten signs before. So you will see ten major signs before the Doomsday. In this connection, the Prophet ﷺ uh, made a mention of these ten signs. Number one, the Prophet ﷺ said that you will see the smoke. Number two, the Jal, the Antichrist. Number three, the Beast. Number four, the rising of the sun from the west. Number five, the descent of Jesus, descent of Prophet Isa a.s., the son of Mariam radiallahu ta'ala anha. The Gog Magog, Yajuj Majud. And landslides by which people shall sink into the earth in three places. Number seven, one in the east. Number eight, one in the west. And number nine, one in Arabia. At the end of which, the fire would burn forth from Yemen and would drive people to the place of their assembly. In another narration, the tenth sign prophesied by the Holy Prophet ﷺ is such a wind that shall blow people away into the sea. Another hadith which is uh, narrated by Hadrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and mentioned in Muslim and Mishkat. An Abi Huraira qala qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallama Ad-Dajjalu a'amalu al-Aini al-Yusra ila akhir al-Hadith. Hadrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala and reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said let me tell you something about the Jal, which no prophet told his people. He will be blind in the left eye and will bring with him something like paradise and hell. But what he will call paradise will be hell. I warn you as Nuh alayhi salam warned his people about him. Another hadith uh, mentioned in Abu Dawud, Sharif and Mishkat, narrated by Hadrat Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu. عن انس ان رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال لا تقوم الساعه حتى لا يقال في الارض الله الله حضرت انس رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ reported that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said the last hour will not come until there will be remain there will remain no one to cry or no one to say Allah Allah on the earth like when the qiyamah will come there will be no one who will say Allah there will be no Muslim no believer on the face of the earth so these are some of uh, the hadith uh, uh, regarding the signs of Qiyamah uh, some of the signs of Qiyamah signs of last hour as already has mentioned in a hadith have already appeared and some other remaining signs are certainly to appear the Jal the Antichrist uh, will uh, appear and will establish his way over all of the world except for Haramani Tayyiban, al madinatul Munawwara and Makkah al Mukarrama. So he won't be able to get in Madinatul Munawwara and Makkah al Mukarrama. His speed will be uh, like the speed of uh, forceful, uh, speed of cloud carried away by the forceful winds. He will unleash the illusions, he will unleash the destruction wherever he goes. He will have two uh, conspicuous things uh, with, with him. A garden on his right side and a fire on his left side so he will um, he will proclaim uh, the garden as a heaven and the fire as a hell but these projection will be just 
opposite. So, whatever he will say this is God and will actually be this arrogant Dajjal uh, will proclaim himself as a God and will ask people to believe in him as a supreme God. So, those people, people who will believe uh, him to be so and those people who will believe him as a God and they will given access to his uh, heaven which actually shall be hellfire and those people who will refuse him uh, as a God they will be thrown into his uh, hellfire which is actually will be heaven. So, the Jal he will play several uh, magic and tricks uh, he will revive the dead he will make the cloud rain. So, he will play different different type of uh, magic and these all will be vanished as soon as the Jal leaves the place and the Jal will be followed by an army of Jews and he will have three letters on his forehead Kaf, Farah, Kfr simplifying as a Kafi non-believer. Muslim alone uh, would be able to read uh, and see these letters and these letters will not be visible to non-Muslim. Hazrat Imam Mahdi radiallahu ta'ala will appear uh, when Islam is near to finishing, vanishing uh, on the face of the earth uh, till it gets confined within the boundaries of Makkah al and Madinat al uh, When Hazrat Imam Mahdi will appear, the time will be the month of Ramadan. All devout of Allah Azza wa Jal, all awliya karam of Allah Azza wa Jal, they will migrate to uh, Makkah al and they will be uh, busy uh, in circulation in Tawaf around Kaaba. Uh, in that crowd of uh, awliya karam, in that crowd of devout, they would be Hazrat Imam Mahdi radiallahu ta'ala, Imam Mahdi radiallahu ta'ala. Awliya karam will uh, recognize him and uh, will ask him, insist him to accept their allegiance and discipleship. Hazrat Imam Mahdi radiallahu ta'ala first turned down the request, then he will immediately will agree in following the commanding voice of unseen. There will be voice from unseen. The voice would be that this is Mahdi, the Caliph of Allah, the Khalifa of Allah. Listen to what he says and follow him. Then all devout of Allah Azza wa Jal will uh, proclaim their faith in and the allegiance to Hazrat Imam Mahdi radiallahu ta'ala anhu, who will lead them to Syria. So Hazrat Imam Mahdi will take all of them and lead all of them to the Syria. What will happen after that, inshallah, we will explain in our next program.